Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Crisioni Schreiber. Dr. Bernadette Chaton, Dr. John Sundy, and I have created this video to demonstrate the rheumatologic musculoskeletal examination. The history forms the core of rheumatologic diagnosis, followed by the physical examination. You will encounter patients with musculoskeletal complaints in every specialty of medicine. Therefore, it is important to be able to perform a comprehensive musculoskeletal examination to successfully diagnose and treat patients. Our aim in this video is to demonstrate how to evaluate every joint area while providing an anatomic framework to help you accurately perform and interpret your physical examination findings. We will focus on an overview of what one can discover on a detailed musculoskeletal examination. In this video, we will focus on aspects of the examination that are most important for the evaluation of non-surgical joint complaints. We have broken down the musculoskeletal examination into six general sections. The hand, wrist, and elbow, the shoulder, the neck and back, the hips, the knees, and the ankles and feet. Most practitioners will examine joints starting from the neck and proceed down to the toes. Here we have grouped the neck and back together. You will find your own method for this examination with practice. In each of these sections, we will start with a discussion of the most common afflictions of these joint areas. We will describe the anatomy and demonstrate how to examine each joint area. When performing a musculoskeletal examination, your first goal should be to determine whether a patient's complaints are truly in their joints. A number of neurologic, metabolic, and other disorders cause pain. Therefore, it is important to be able to distinguish complaints on history as well as to be able to perform a reliable physical examination. Having an idea of the distribution of joints involved in different types of arthritis can help guide you through both the history and physical examination. The timing of complaints can help you determine whether they represent a regional musculoskeletal complaint versus a systemic problem. Examination of each joint begins with inspection of the joint. To properly evaluate any joint area, the patient must be disrobed adequately to allow inspection and free motion of the joint being examined. During the examination, take advantage of human symmetry. Whenever you question whether a joint is normal, compare it to the other side. If both sides have identical abnormalities in range of motion, for example, this is likely a normal variant rather than acquired abnormality of both joints. Depending on the patient you are evaluating, you may perform a more abbreviated or a more detailed examination of each joint area. This video is designed to demonstrate the core aspects of musculoskeletal examination. There are more detailed and provocative maneuvers to demonstrate dysfunction of anatomic structures that will not be demonstrated in this video. If you would like to review a particular section of this video, just click on the section you wish to review.